Okay, so we just talked about patch cords and send and receive. And then we talked about this command Y you can use to segment your patch cords and basically to make them look like cleaner. But there's a problem. The problem is problem. big problem with segmented patch cords. They may look cleaner, but it, it actually, even though they look cleaner, it can introduce a lot of ambiguity when mm -hmm. you when you segment your cords. So let's walk through this. This is clear. This to me visually is clear. You've got this object here, this object here, and they're connected to these objects here. So this object is connected to all three of these objects, and this object is connected to all three of these objects. Fine, cool. I can visually see that. I can like trace these connections because I mean they do overlap, but they're overlapping in sort of angles that make it unambiguous where things are going. Yeah. Just just visually unambiguous. When I connect, when I select my, if I were to option drag on just select all of these uh, patch cords and then do command Y to segment them, suddenly it's completely ambiguous where anything is going because all the patch cords are laying right on top of each other. So I'll undo that. And now, you know, now it looks like this and you can't see where anything's going. So it might look cleaner, but you've, you've really made a mess for yourself to try and figure out what is connected to what. Um, I a million times I see students who have beautiful clean patches with all these segmented patch cords but you just cannot tell what's going on in the patch at all so um, it's okay to have unsegmented cords they're actually really useful they they're helpful in figuring out what's going on um, you can avoid overlaps you can take your segmented cords and you can move the segments around so it's a little more clear and so this is relatively unambiguous too, mm -hmm. but in my opinion, just leave them unsegmented if you can. Right. Um, there's no problem with having unsegmented cords. So um, if you are going to segment them, try to move the segments so that uh, it it's not so visually ambiguous what is connected to what. Right. I mean, and this is really important so that it's easily discernible for someone else. Who comes and looks at your patch? Which yeah, might but not for be the me, case. like someone else, that someone else is just a future me. Right. That's but that's what I mean. Even like yeah. just this idea that in the moment in which you segment them all, well, okay, now I know what I did because I just did it. But yeah. in a week, when you come back to it, are you going to remember There's how just, you connected? Yeah. What do we everything? call that phenomenon? I think it happens with every programmer in every programming language, where you write some program and then like a week, a month later, you open it up and it's like deja vu. Who wrote this? Right. Like, and you got. You gotta what go back genius it. wrote this right. stupid thing and then you gotta like try and figure out your own mentality like how, why did I do it this way so this gets into comments too but yeah you always gotta like leave it nice and organized because in the future you're gonna be looking at it and wondering how does this work what is going on here um, alright should we go on yeah okay